Right guys, Mr. H here. After a very busy 12 hour day at work, I'm bringing you my analysis and breakdown of the Alien Covenant TV spots that were released. Firstly, I just wanna say, absolutely love them. Again, Fox is doing everything right in my view. First TV spot is Hyde. We open with an amazing shot looking over what has been called the Engineer Citadel. A few things I noticed here is actually the figures, the statues surrounding the circular docking station in the middle. This docking station is where David is supposed to head in on the intro to the film. These statues seem to depict engineers or humanoids in a kneeling position, noting the location and that this seems to be where a ship would dock. It's interesting to say that this race may not actually be the engineers, but may worship them. There are interesting lines in the ground, much like there were surrounding the temple in Prometheus. Perhaps there are juggernauts docked underneath and this is simply the doorways. I would say that this is clearly where all the bodies are, the mummified corpses of the engineer-like beings. You can make them out if you turn the brightness up. So in previous images, I hadn't actually noticed the pillars with more statues adorning them. Whatever the statues are depicting, they are held on a pedestal, literally and figuratively. The next scene I can only imagine is after the crew of the Covenant has made their way through the thousands of corpses and are actually entering the buildings that we see. There's a big, heavy carved door. Then a nice flash to presumably the scene just prior, the crew making their way through this eerie scene, humanoids frozen in time. There's some beautifully horrifying visuals here. They appear to be encased in a black substance, more than likely the cause of their death as their facial expressions remain frozen in time. It doesn't look like anything bad happens to the crew as they make their way through the bodies. They all seem pretty shocked, but none in sheer terror as they approach the citadel further. Uh, we do get a shot of Walter and the others in the background. The next scene is very interesting. We're introduced to something that we learned from the set reports the Hall of Heads, apparently where the engineers store all the information about their race. The heads are very much in the same vein as the one in Prometheus, but an interesting thing to note is that these heads seem to be different, depicting different beings. It's a stretch, but I actually feel that they look very reminiscent of the engineers we see in a deleted scene in the introduction to Prometheus. Potentially, different humanoids revered different engineers, the next shot appears to be taking place in an engineer-like building. I say that because of the walls and the lighting. A member of the security detail is dressing a wound of three holes, bite marks by the looks of it, with what appears to be a black ooze or black goo seeping through the wounds. We then hear a scuttering of feet and the absolute money shot right here of what is being speculated to be a full-grown neomorph. Very fleshy, very bulbous and lanky looking until it is ready to strike and then this mouth appears from absolutely nowhere. We can safely say this is definitely a larger and more grown neomorph as the woman is looking up and previously in a trailer we were shown the neomorphs as small dog sized creatures. The mouth opens up to almost the size of this alien's head and we see the very sharp and jagged teeth of this creature. Very feral looking, very ferocious and frantic in its attack. The teeth and the way the mouth seems to hinge forwards is seemingly reminiscent to the Deacon, giving more weight behind the notion the accelerant will always lead to a creature similar in nature. But what did you guys think of the TV spot Hyde? Is there anything that I missed? Is there anything that I pointed out that you guys had missed? Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. And if you did enjoy this video, then please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel for more in future. I cover the news, topics, and theories all surrounding the Alien and Predator universe. I've been Mr. H, and until next time, I'll catch you in the comment section.